what's up flow bike squad the crew is officially here in Italy for the Giro d'Italia it is day one of the vlog we're gonna be giving exclusive behind-the-scenes content footage let us know in the comments sections what kind of stuff you want to see from the Giro and we'll hook it up all month long Ian what do we got on tap today at the Giro we're going to stage one uh, where the stage one start is in Bologna, Italy. We're going to a Zwift event, a little preview of stage one in virtual reality, and Michael and I might be racing a world champion. Maybe. Ian, would you care to issue an official statement as to the sticker application here? Uh, there's a first time for everything. And applying stickers, uh, you know, some people are naturals and some people grow into the role. Thoughts, Andrea? <laughs> no comments. <laughs> no, I have one. I brought some... Uh, I'm always happy to give people a second opportunity. So I brought ah. some new ones. Just in case we have some spare time, you know. Uh, Andrea muttered something about his 11 year old doing a better job with the stickers. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, 11 year olds use stickers a lot. <laughs> just finished the Zwift exhibition at the Giro. Click the link in the description of this video to watch the whole thing. Get an exclusive first look at the new Zwift course for stage one of the Giro d'Italia. There were five World Tour riders who hit it first and then Flow Bikes took on a couple of world champions. So make sure you go watch that video to check out how it all played out. I'm gonna go find a vomit bucket somewhere. How thrill thrilled are you about the rematch? You got challenged there to round two. <laughs> yeah, I'm not coming back to Italy. <laughs> you guys can have the rematch on Zwift. It is a virtual platform. I liked how Blonde was like, what's the word? Revenge. I want my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> revenge sounds more uh, aggressive than rematch. <laughs> you know, he wants a real revenge, not a rematch. Yeah. He wants blood. He was, <laughs> That's he was pissed off. <laughs> to be honest, he was really like pissed off that you beat him. So uh, I will be careful moving around the Giro in the next few days. <laughs> Just got done with the team presentation. We have interviews up on the site with all the Americans, except Ian decided to snub Brent Bookwalter. Sorry, Brent. We'll get you tomorrow or Saturday. Ian, any final takeaways from day one in Italy? Uh, well, there was a lot less techno music at the team presentation than in Belgium, but uh, there was a ton of fans, a ton of excitement. Nonetheless, it's gonna be a crazy three weeks. See you tomorrow.